So guys, I'm currently in the changing room at Man City. I'm about to meet Steph Horton. I'm so excited because she's literally the most amazing female player that there is at the moment and she's super, super, super inspirational. So I can't wait to meet her. But yeah, let's meet her. Nikki Lily meets Man City and England captain, record goal scorer and Beckham's biggest fan. Beckham was my hero. It's Steph Horton. Today I'm here with the amazing football player Steph Horton, the captain for Man City and England, which is so, so cool. Thank you for being here. No, thanks for having us. So, what were you like when you were a teenager? Um, I think uh, probably per people perceive me now as quite confident and outgoing and yeah. I think that comes as part and parcel of the job, but actually when I was a teenager and I was in secondary school, I was quite shy and quite reserved. What, what do you think kind of helped you build your confidence. I think a lot of it probably is down to the sport that I play. I think with football and knowing that you're good at something, I think that does naturally give you a little bit of confidence. Well, how did you first get into football then? I think uh, it was through my dad, really. I think um, being from the northeast, it's quite a football um, mad um, place. My dad's one of seven brothers who oh all played gosh, football. Wow. So I think he just put a ball in front of my feet. And ever since then, I've not really looked back yet. Yeah. Do you remember your first ever football match that you actually went to, maybe with your dad or...? At the time, David Beckham was at Man oh, United, yeah. so I went to Sunderland, Man United, I think it was. Pretty much the main reason was because I wanted to go and see David Beckham. <laughs> he was one of my heroes and all that kind of stuff. So my dad, at the time, I was trying to, I was playing at Sunderland as well. Oh, wow. So my dad managed to get us tickets to go and see them. And I remember going, Dad, just put us like in one of the corners because David Beckham took corners. Obviously, growing up, um, the film Bender Like Beckham, I think. One of my favourite films I must have ever. watched that about 20,000 times. Best yeah. film. Yeah, Beckham was my hero. What was it like playing your first proper football game? How did you feel? Nervous, I think, because my first ever game was for the school team, so primary school team, and I was the only girl playing. And some of the lads on my team didn't really agree with me playing, but I think it's kind of like just going Showing. back, OK, yeah, yeah. I, I can play as well as you, even though I am a girl. Exactly, like gender or anything shouldn't yeah, matter, you know? A sport is a sport. Mm -hmm. I mean, I actually... I did football when I was really young in primary school. I mean, I wasn't good at it at all, <laughs> but I was on a boys' football team with my friend. And, you know, you can just, you can sense that sometimes the boys are like, why are they here, why yeah, are they here? Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, well, why shouldn't I be here, you know? No, exactly. Being a girl, it was a lot harder when you were younger. Are you proud of kind of how far football has evolved and how much support and TV coverage it's got now since you've grown up? Yeah, really proud. Back when I was playing football, there wasn't that many girls that could that were playing football and at Sunderland we got hand-me-down kits, we yeah. had to pay to play for the season just to keep the club going and now I'm sitting here talking to you yeah. um, after training and I'm a full-time footballer. I think it's amazing how far we've come. We've got a lot more girls wanting to play football, the yeah. attendances within England it's risen. Sometimes you do pinch yourself a little bit and um, it's only going to get bigger. Did you say you're one of like the more like the celebrity in your village? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, my, with my grandma, she's obviously... Oh. She obviously brags about us a little bit, which is... It's cute. My grandma said I am the celeb of the village and everybody likes to know what I'm up to, which oh, is, which so is lovely, yeah. So, obviously, because you are so active and you do so much, what do you do when you want to just relax and unwind? Um, generally, I'll say when I finish training, we always like to go for a coffee with the girls, which is kind of the, just the done thing. Love a good coffee. Yeah, so we'll always go into town, have a little coffee, and then I'll drive back home and then literally just on the couch, pretty much blanket on. Run a hot bar. Um, I'm not a bath type of person, but really? at the same time, um, I do like to sit on the couch, have my blanket on, watch a bit of rubbish telly, so... Yeah. Um, I love like Love Island, like, oh, yeah, like all them types of programs where they're just easy to watch. Yeah. Or, I'm in a Gossip Girl at the moment. So. I love Gossip Girl. Yeah. You know, you love me. <laughs> XO, XO, XO. XO Gossip Girl. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite film? Oh, um, I love Dumb and Dumber. Do, oh my gosh, yeah. that is like, again, it's like really easy to watch, but it's so funny. Yeah, yeah, so like constantly me and KB, one the, uh, the keeper here. Uh, one of my good mates is always just saying one-liners all the time. Do you have like favourite karaoke song? You know, if you're going out with the girls. God, the girls batter us. Cause see, on a bus journey, going yeah. to the football. So oh my God. we have initiations, or if people have hit big milestones. Oh yeah. So 
obviously I was when I came here we didn't really have initiations here but when I hit 100 caps or 100 appearances for City you had to sing so and being captain you probably get told to sing a lot so yeah. probably my um, go-to song is the script. Oh do you have yeah. a favourite? Um, oh, there's, a f there's a few actually. Break Even's quite good. I love that song. Yeah. 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 It's a good karaoke song. Man Who Can't Be Moved, probably that's my go-to yeah. one. So the girls absolutely rinse us all the time, but sometimes you just got to do what you, what you know, don't you? So exactly. I haven't got the best singing voice either, so... Doesn't matter. Yeah. That's what karaoke's for, I know, really, exactly. isn't it? <laughs> it's for you to rinse all the songs, Oh, Mr Brightside, The Killers. Love that song. A bit old school, yes. so... So then you just get people joining and they don't have to sing them. It's important that you're not just serious all the time and... You have to have a little bit of a laugh and you have to let people be comfortable with them as people. And um, I think we can be so much better at that, but at the same time, I think we've got a good balance here. I think yeah. going for coffee, obviously probably the manager probably says, oh, he's always going there, but actually it's nice just to go and chat yeah. and just and have a break and be out away. with kick kind of yeah. thing. So, yeah. What is your guilty pleasure food? Probably sweets, yeah. Really? Like mix, yeah. Really? Sometimes just for my husband and be like, Stephen, do you want to go to the shop because... I need some sweets, and then he'll go and get us some. But not all the time. God, don't tell the nutritionist this. But yeah, sometimes you've got to like, you've got to have a balanced diet, Definitely. I think. So now we're going to plug this or that, where I'll give you two things like chocolate or vanilla, and you have to quickly just choose the one that right, you prefer. Okay. okay. So ketchup or barbecue sauce? Ketchup. Sleep or eat? Sleep. Dancing or singing? Dancing. Trainers or heels? Trainers. Sweet or savoury? Sweet. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> city or country? Uh, city. Jeans or tracksuit? Tracky. Night out or night in? Depends. Depend. Night in, I'll say. VAR, yes or no? No. <laughs> uh, Billy Eilish or Taylor Swift? Taylor. And classical or grime music? Grime. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Well done, Yossi. That's my word. I think you like carrot cake. Yeah. So I think I every person I interview, I bake them something. So I've made you carrot cake cookies. Oh, thank you. I've never made these before. These are for you, so if you want to try them now. Oh, perfect. Can I try a bit now? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Really good. Okay. Thank you. I'm so glad. Thank you so Thank much you. for doing this. Don't tell the nutritionist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. They're amazing. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank, thank you, you so much for doing this. O